This video is brought to you by Urban Glass. So today we are at Urban Glass. We're going to show you how to so screen for the tote bag for my second version. I remember that I made for the last year for the blue, like plain pink and oranges. And then you can see that. But I'm using it for today with a brighter pink for the tote bag. And then we're going to so screen it. In the cold shop of Urban Glass, and all these machines are for people to take kind of the, the rough edges off of the projects. Because if you make a glass, it has a little bit of a, a, a sharp surface you can get out of it. But we're using this for silk screen. Uh, we have two designs, and one of the first things you should probably consider is which one of those designs were you like the best. <laughs> and then your second consideration will be yeah. what color It used for the fabric paint. Yes. You're going to have to be patient because we're just not getting fabric in the flow. So here's what you're going to need. The tote bag, fabric paint, so screening painters. You're also going to need some designers that you want to choose anyone. Here's where the sample looks. And we also have for those scientists braces that are usually like scientists. And we also have this one for the rotating glass into the conventional oven. And we also got the logo ones for the magnifying glass. And if he doesn't we have one for five. But anyway, we're also going to use for this squeegee one to scrape in with the fabric paint on the tote bag. You want to make sure to use it before it gets dry, and then we're going to use the hair dry to dry fast. So let's get started. So they like to try to put in red on the fabric paint right onto the tote bag and add napkins to prevent for the stains. Um, I'm going to stand you're going to stand right in front of it. We have a lot of ink right now, but we kind of want to... And you want to pour it into that using with the... Using with the fabric paint. And make sure to use some rubber spatula. And, and don't forget to put in some styrofoam board inside with the tote bag because it prevents the sticking for the tote bag for this over I mean, she was, she was I Just spread it around. And then using the squeegee, you want to make sure to with two hands. And then just you want to scrape it over onto the design. And then back and forth. And make sure to straight back and forth for about like at least four to six times worth. This time I'm going to grab all that ink and sort of like all the top. Just kind of run it like back. Scoot it back and now pull it again. And then once you, after you scrape it, you open the screen this way, lift it up, and this protection. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. It looks really good. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, so you can take, I'll take the board, and you take the bag, and then just go hit it. And then, while we're waiting for it, I'm going to make one to, to paint it with blue on the right of paint because you're not and I like to use hang on I like to choose this 
thing when it's Correct. Keep it nice and flat. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 You want to add crab cakes onto the silk? Correct. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to lift this up. Then we're going to slide it in. Oh no. What's going on? Oh, be careful. It was the boy. What's the step for this? So, I'm going to put this down. Okay. Okay. Alright, you put one hand on either side of my So once after you so screen for the paint, then you want to take your hair dryer and then you want to blow it and you can see you can turn on that. You want to turn down high. And then blow it on top of the crap paint that's been already so screen. You want to make sure it's over dry so the heat will fade into the crap paint with the tote bag. You can go all the way around, just like that. You can see the hair dryer is brilliant. So you want to keep blowing over here. And I think it looks stain turned out over the fabric paint on the tote bag. And just a Keep blowing it over, 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 and over. I'm just going to making sure to see how it looks like and get the almost ready for it. It should be looks like it's turned over here because it, I think it's just almost done. All right, just give that a test. It looks perfect. So I'm done for this one for the bright pink and then pale blue for the pink. And this for the underfish part for this one. And this what texture of me for the sky blue and the plain oranges. And one of mine is also Caesar Rot. Brighter green for double and honey green. Right over here. And see what else? Also we got ganache. What uh, what do you call it? the bright the bright purple with what color we are to oh on red and let's check what Donald was got plain blue with with red and he is white with red let's check with John too that's with mine. the yellow and black. Welcome and lastly is friends navy blue navy blue with red on it and here you go here's the finished product with the so screening tote bag painted at the urban glass I hope you enjoy